G'day, welcome to Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be looking at a way of solving uh, linear equations with variables on both sides. Uh, this is a pretty easy thing to do, so I'll show you a way of doing this. Um, now, these are the questions that look like this. They, you might get something that looks like 3x plus 4 equals 2x plus 6. Now, as you see, we've got uh, variables on both sides. These are these ones here, these 3x and 2x. And we also generally have these uh, standard constant numbers, these 4 and these 6 here. Do notice we have four different numbers here. We have 3x, we have positive 4, we have positive 2x, and we have 6. So we're going to solve this by basically grouping all the x numbers on one side of the equation and all the other numbers on the other side of the equation. Now, to do this is fairly simple. Pretty much, uh, we're going to try and get these x's over this side and all these other numbers on this side. So, to get this 2x on this side, pretty much what you're going to see at the moment, we can get rid of this 2x. It's a positive 2x, we can take it away. If we take it off this side, we can take it off this side as well. Okay? And you can see that if we do that, 2x take away 2x, gets rid of it, okay? It ends up with nothing, and 3x take away 2x is just x. Okay, I also want to get this 4 on this side. So to do this at the moment, it's a positive 4. I'm going to take it off both sides. Okay, so 4 take 4 is cancelling out, and 6 take away 4 is 2. Now, that's the way we generally solve these, but you can probably see that we can skip a few steps here. Okay, we don't really need to actually uh, take away 4 off this side as as obviously as we do it here. Pretty much all we do here is I'll look at the, often just look at the sign here, this positive 4, and I take it off the other side and just get rid of it here. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, um, same question, and we'll do it just a little bit faster. And then we'll go through a few other examples. So say we had, uh, where is it? We have 3x plus 4 equals 2x plus 6. Okay, so I want to get the 2x on this side, so it's just a positive 2x. I'm just going to take it off here. Okay, because I'm going to cancel it out there. If I take it off here, it's going to cancel out straight away. I want to put this 4 over here. So I'm going to get rid of it there. And on this side, I'm just going to take it away. No, do the opposite here. So what we're going to end up with is 3x take away 2x. We end up with x. And 6 take away 4, x equals 2. Okay, pretty easy, right? All right, I'll tell you what. We'll go through a, another example here. Okay, so say we had 2x plus 1 equals 4x take away 9. Okay, so we're going to do that same thing. I like to get all the x's on this side and all the other numbers on this side, so we'll do it like that. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this 4x and get it on this side. So to get rid of it, it's a positive at the moment, I'm going to take it away. I'm going to take it off this side, so minus 4x. Alright, I want to put this 1 on this side. It's a positive one at the moment, so I'm going to take it off both sides. So take off one. Okay. So 2x take away 4x is minus 2x. Okay, be very careful with that. Okay, and minus 9 minus 1 is minus 10. Okay, so pretty much if we end up with a minus in both of these, we can multiply both sides by minus uh, 1 and get rid of them. So... If we've got a minus on both sides, I can just get rid of this, get rid of that, get rid of that. So 2x equals 10. This means that x equals 5. Okay, pretty easy, right? What about one last one of these? Where are we? Okay, so x take away 3 equals 4x. Oh, man plus 6. Okay, so what about you give this a quick go, uh, pause the video, see how you go. Alright, hopefully you've done that, hopefully you've done really well. Okay, so first off what we should do is we're going to get rid of this 4x here, and I'm going to take it off this side. I'm going to get rid of this 3 here, now you're going to see this is a minus 3, so I'm going to do the opposite of what it says. I'm going to add it to both sides, so I'm going to add it over here. Okay? Alright, so x take away 4x is going to be minus 3x, okay? And this equals 3 plus 6, which is 9. 
Okay, so pretty much if we multiply both sides by minus 1, we're going to end up with 3x equals minus 9, and therefore x equals, we divide both sides by 3, minus 3. So how'd you go with those type of questions, okay? Hopefully uh, that's uh, solved any problems that you have with them. Anyway, uh, good luck with those. Any questions, shoot them through, we'll answer them for you. Okay, see you next time. Bye.